Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X super happy to give you another episode of Sawakui Bisco. This time we're on episode 5 and it's uh, called Children's Fortress. It looks like it's going to be a real fun one. I really am enjoying getting into the world, I think, of Sawakui Bisco. The whole rust concept, obviously all the weird animals and the giant animals going on and the weaponized animals, which seems to be a huge thing in this world. We have the Escargot and the big snail mountain and all that stuff. I will say last episode was probably my least favorite episode so far, even though it probably had some more interesting movement in it. It just felt a little bit fillery and forced. And I didn't really see as much of the need for that episode, especially because the whole point of it was to go through the mines, which ended up getting blown up anyway. So it was very much this kind of like side questy episode in my opinion. But I'm hoping this episode we get to more movement and stuff towards like expansion of the world which last episode kind of did but i'm really looking forward more in this one we also got a little more about the chick last episode though she came in and ran off as well though i guess she likes dr panda i don't know there's a bunch to be said i'm really enjoying the series and i hope you are as well if you're enjoying watching as always support the original content creator by checking out their content in the link below uh, in this case it'll be on Crunchyroll or somewhere on shonen jump etc etc all those great things you know where you can find the anime typically it is based off a light novel so try to check that out and give it some support too because we want to get more of these great shows and ideas and original content because we love it we love it no I, I love it i hope you guys do as well and if you do remember to support but with that said i've already spent too much time talking so I'll catch you next time but for now let's go ahead and uh, check out the next episode of sabakui bisco children's fortress so what are we gonna see in this one that's the real question okay that looked like a uh, cattle caltrop, whatever. They're like, they're folded up pieces of metal that are used to pierce through like shoes or tires and other things. Oh. But that way they'll stop shooting at him because they will want to kill him. Maybe. That or the kids are just really impressed by stuff like that and he knows it. <laughs> He's like, see, but he can break out of those, so. Well, yeah, but he can. I mean, the stuff I've seen him do, yeah. It's hard to stay mad at Dr. Panda. Oh, look at the blush. Oh. What is that? Why does it look like a skull? For real though, I'm curious. Tetsujin Town. Huh. Kid Town. Damn, the music's really good here. Oh, dead guy. Is this someone the kids killed? Just some... Oh no, people are jumping off buildings, I guess? Damn, this is pretty gory, honestly. I don't think we've had it this crazy violent since. Oh, no, it's an animal killing people. And they're trying to jump for safety. Damn, she's strong. Damn, she's strong. I don't know how, but she's strong as fuck. Like, seriously strong as fuck. Yes. True. Uh, I don't trust them. Why do I have a feeling they are the trappers? I am not trusting of these old people. Are you even surprised? I'm gonna be honest here. Mm. There's a lot to be said. I didn't think so. It didn't look like rust. It looks like scales of some kind. Some weird scales. Ah, don't trust them. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe these guys aren't evil. I just get a bad feeling from that couple. But maybe, hopefully I'm wrong. I like being wrong. That means the show's better than me. 
Harpoon. Was. They all wear she's shell hat these. Oh, damn. Yeah, that does happen. And my grudge. My grudge, huh? Your memories aside, great harpoon, give it to me. Do they believe they can take her? Without the poison having taken effect yet? It must take effect in the middle, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. She's still a monster, though. Yeah, you saw her. Alright, thank you for her. Thank goodness. Oh, hey, they actually work. Okay, maybe she did drink the poison. Wow! Okay! What the f was that? Did it explode? I am so confused. Okay, yeah, because they totally survived that explosion, sure. But whatever. Okay, maybe she wasn't poisoned. It's really tough to tell there. His name's Nuts. Is it because he's got a lot of chutzpah? Interesting world. Fair. So fair. <laughs> I'm a prisoner. He's like, it doesn't matter. I got it all memorized anyway, bro. No worries. Ah, the music in these, bro. Listen to the horn and the movement. Damn. We're not, we're not gonna pretend. Oh, goodbye, kid. Oh my god, look at its dumbass teeth! Whoa, it's big, too. Alright, fair. It's huge as shit. I was gonna ask how big they were, but that's big as fuck. But that's alright. You've got a bisco, bitch! Oh, no! Oh, no, it's the one kid that we kind of got a connection to. Oh, no, that's cool. This goes... Oh, here comes the dope music. Oh, he stabbed the shit out of it. With the spear, right? What's up? It's dumb as his teeth and its voice. Ah! Oh, fuck, he cut it in half? <laughs> He's like, hurry up before your friends get eating. <laughs> Why did they sound so stupid? <laughs> look how stupid they look once they get hit, too. Well, they'll have food for a while, at least. That's a very rare thing. Aww. Aww. He gave him the spear, huh? <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea, I was trying to kill you with it, bro. <laughs> That's like throwing a gun at somebody and saying, Nah, man, I was trying to, was trying to get you with it. <laughs> it's not, because obviously you could have, but oh my god. Uh, they're funny, man. This one makes me laugh. Where is he hiding? Oh, granted, he is a mushroom keeper, so he could probably stay. See, the problem is this guy doesn't feel like a big threat either, necessarily. Like, a little bit here and there, but... 
Uh-oh, who is it? Uh oh. Oh, that's right. Oh. But once again, would you want to be that close to that old man who's most likely 10 times stronger than you and also can shoot giant mushrooms? Anyway, let's uh, switch back real quick. I think that was very funny. It was a cool uh, mental play there, actually. Very good. Both sides. Awesome. But then the reveal of, would you really want to reveal this old guy when even injured, he's probably way stronger than you? I mean, you'd see what the other one did. I'm just saying. In any case, it's been a very interesting. I think this episode's probably been the best one so far. So much world building, so much fun stuff, so much dumb stuff, so much cool stuff. I mean, between the Fugu fish, the little interactions between the city and Akaboshi and Panda or Bisco, whatever. You get what I'm saying. There's a lot of going on and it's definitely starting to branch more. I do want to see more from these evil mushroom keepers. I do think even in this one where they were talking about that guy who was, you know, like doing, I don't know if that was necessarily him being evil or once again, the thing where he was like trying to fix it and then it didn't work and their mushrooms came back or their rust came back worse than ever after he tried to fix them. But he could just have been evil. I have no idea. In any case, thank you everybody who watched. I really do appreciate every single one of you. You don't know how much it means to me, but if you want to know, come and chat with me as always in the Discord, down below in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, etc. whatever the bullcrap. Come watch us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash reactions with the next. Every Sunday we try to do this and watch a couple different shows. We also watch some shows with our patrons who for as low as a dollar a month get to see all these shows up to a week early with full audio, full video, none of the cuts we have to do here for YouTube. And uh, they also get a special place in my heart. Right, right next to the left or right ventricle. I'm not sure which, whichever one doesn't kill me. But with that said, I do appreciate everybody watching also on YouTube, Twitch, etc. You guys really do mean the world to me. Your comments help me learn more and understand more about these, especially because I do miss things on my first watch through, right? Like doing them live and trying to do commentary, you're gonna end up missing more things than you would if you were just hyper focusing, not saying anything. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time on Reactions with an ex, Sabakui Bisco. I'm Axel, have a good one guys.